Pool's view. Yes, yeah, I definitely want to take the Greenville spawn. Greenville, Greenville, Greenville. Welcome back, everybody, to Daisy. We are back today on Deer Isle, and we are hitting it on Aftermath. First time playing Aftermath in a little while. I don't know what it's going to be like to try and solo on, but I'm just going to do my very best. Now, I don't really have a base in mind right now. Although, well, I say that, I do have a place marked, which is a rough sort of idea. Every time I've gone to it, though, it's been taken. I think it's quite a nice spot, uh, really, for a clan. But I might be able to make it work as a solo. Yeah, I mean, it is quite a big spot, so it's probably not ideal for a solo. However, I do know on Aftermath, you can just get the little woodshed and uh, and a code lock from the trader. And then you can put a base down pretty much anywhere. So I could do that and just live out of the little woodshed and then try and expand it over time. But either way, I'm going to need to be looting up. So I feel like I should probably just be hitting these sheds that I'm running past right now. And all these barns and everything. Try and get a few tools. Tools are of the utmost importance on Aftermath. And you can only loot them, if I remember rightly. I don't think you can buy them at all. I think if I get the building that I want... Ooh, a gun, a gun, a gun, a gun, a gun. What is it? What the hell is that thing? A guver. Does that have rounds? No, it does not have rounds. And a bag of sand, which I believe is actually kind of useful. What rounds does this bad boy take? 792 by 57 okay. Good, because that's not a completely rare type of round to find. Deer Isle's changed a bit since I played it last, really. And so I started heading towards the base location. I wanted to scout it out and make sure there was no one living in it so I could take it for myself. Oh, we got some gunfire up ahead. There is an airfield near me, which I'm not going to go to. I'm just going to stick to the towns. And I'm just going to be heading down this road to check out the, uh, the spot and we'll eventually get round to the trader. I don't think you start with any money on Aftermath, so either way, I'm going to have to make some plays, try and get a bit of loot together. And then uh, head down there and make some money. And then I can sell my stuff to uh, get the shed and the lock. Bit of a long plan right now. Just need to get a bit of a run on. Hopefully find some loot. Eat some food and have some uh, drink. Bases require maintenance payments in game with currency. Ah oh, yeah, I remember you've got to put a little bit of money on your card. Haven't I mean, you got to pay like a maintenance fee so your card doesn't, uh, your base doesn't get despawned. We'll have to remember that. We've got here more food, more food. Okay, we're not going to be struggling on food by the looks. And oh. Got a bit of a dodgy look going here, but we can put a baseball cap on. That fixes the uh, our outfit up a little bit. Oh, sheet metal. Ah, oh, it's only one of five though. We can we can go without one of five. Chest holster, okay. Doing pretty well, guys. We're doing all right. Okay, I'm round the edge here, round the water. Need to head up this way a little bit. And then is the entrance for Paris Island not like right here? Oh yeah, it's pretty close. I don't want to go into Paris Island, though. Because, like, it'll just be clans there, mostly. I don't even have a gun to go in with. Seeing as I'm starting completely fresh, it's sort of more important to get some industrial loot right now. Oh, hello, baby. Box of nails. I was having a little looking up and down the uh, catwalk. Didn't see anything. That is nice. And I always like to check in here as well, just in case, though. Wow, a box of nails. is very nice. Oh, another gun. Again, without bullets, though. Uh, okay. I'll stick with the pitchfork. And my favourite hat. You know what, we're just going to head out. We'll follow this, uh... Actually, no, we won't follow the train track. This takes us straight to Paris Island. We have to go across the train track and keep heading up this way. Crowbar, I think I need for... When you get into the key rooms, you need, the cro you need a crowbar or something to open the box. So, I think I need that. A saw, very good, very good. Uh, let me drop these bits and I can pick it up there and then take them there. They've gone into the cooking pot, okay. Yeah, I'm making up some ground here now, it's starting to go quicker because there's not really anything around, but I have a bit of a trouble crossing up ahead because we got the Paris Island entrance, which people are going to be trekking back and forth to with the trader where it is, so this is going to be a hot zone. I could run all the way around, but... That's effort to do that, so we're just going to go straight through the middle and hope that we time this okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm not worried. We've got a little military outpost over there, which I could check for a gun, but these houses are giving me enough ammo and stuff. I, I will find a gun eventually, I think. Oh, yeah, that's the big school area. Check this hunting cabin for some 308. No, but we do get a double-barrel shotgun, which uh, 
we have some rounds here. Cool. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't think I need that, really. Only rubber slugs, but they will get the job done, so we'll take that. Okay, I'm just going to keep on running past right now. I don't know if there's a base in there, but there probably is. There normally is a base in there. Got server restart coming. 15 minutes. 1.8 kilometers from the uh, from the base area, if I've marked the right building, which I'm not 100% sure I have. So hopefully we'll get to check it out before the restart. And then I guess I'll head to the trader to find out, you know, a rough estimate on price of things. Maybe need to try and snowball a little bit of loot here. Stash these nails too. We'll stash all the building supplies and good stuff that I got. Open field crossing right now. Really need some uh, sunglasses. Look at that. It's bad. Ooh, hello. DMR mag. Okay. Hang on a second. Let me empty this mag. Let's find out if this loads into a blaze. Doesn't. No. Damn it. Okay. Backpack, finally. Ooh, is that a cinder block? Yeah, very good. Two cinder blocks. I need those. Need those big time. Another crowbar as well, which I also need. This is all very overgrown through here. Okay, and if I'm not mistaken, the building is here. Oh, yes, another box of nails. That is huge. Right, let's check it out. Okay, here we go. I mean, like I said, it's a bit more of a, a, a group space. Probably isn't really a great spot for a solo. Oh, that's a cool hat. Maybe I should take this hat instead. Yeah, go on, we're rocking this hat instead. I like the slouch hat. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this, guys. All I need to do is get one door across here, but I equally just need the uh, the shed. I need the shed and a code lock and a base pole. So I guess I'll start working my way towards the trader. I want to check out this uh, HQ building up here. You know, I actually sort of want to stash some loot. This looks pretty good for a stash here. This is a big old bush. I'll stash the nails and the cinder blocks here. And we'll just take everything else. Or, and then we need to make a marker for the trader, which is 2.6 kilometers that way. So that's not too bad. I think we just head down there, uh, try and grab a bit more loot on the way now. Now that we've dropped that stuff off, especially, and then we can hopefully sell some stuff and and get the uh, stuff that we need to build, the shed, the code lock, and the base pole. I think that's all we need for like a. You know, a proper rough and ready starter base. We can just set up the shed somewhere inside there. And then we can build from there. I think it sounds like a good plan. We've got the server restart in three minutes. Hopefully the stuff that I just put down will be okay. Alright, we're back in. Get on our merry way to the trader. And we are going to put our faith in the day Z gods that the stash is all okay. It should, it should be. Better get used to this run. 2.7 kilometers to the trader isn't that far. Oh, there's an animal. Wow, I mean, I'm not going to kill it, but shall I just get a little bit of... Look at that. Look at that, absolutely majestic. Out in the wild. Stretching his legs. Look at him. Look at him, what a beast. You try and get closer. That's a beauty right there. You know, if I kill him, I could probably sell his meat. 
Wasn't enough. I need a rubber slug. I was about to try anyway. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Is that a bear? Uh oh. Here he comes. Ow. Oh. Okay, I mean, I didn't shoot him. I was trying to just duck and dodge him and evade him. I thought I'm maybe about shooting him, but it's probably a good job that I didn't. Ah, oh, trader bear. Okay, we're not in too bad condition. Just need to uh, patch up here. There we go. We have a little bit of food. Get us back in tip-top shape. I don't even think the rubber slugs would do anything to the bear. I don't really know. Okay, well... We will slowly limp our way now to the trader. Alright, well, we made it to the safe zone. I think we're just going to be probably selling... Uh, well, I don't really have much to sell. I'll take a little look at what they've got anyway. Don't believe there are ATMs on Aftermath, so it's going to all be money carried around with me. Bear is currently killing someone else on the hill from the sounds of it. Fire burning over there. Weapons guy. Sell. Oh. Not good money. 200 for the double barrel shotgun. Okay, so yeah, I got enough for a box of 308. That's the good news. Let's sell the gun as well then. Oh uh, wait, I can do that over here. But yeah, we're really short on money, but this will at least get me the money to... uh. This will get me off of nothing. So we're going to purchase the box of 308 rounds. Optics, here we go. Something for a blaze I need. Oh, they're expensive. Damn, okay. Maybe no sight for me just yet then. We're going to be rocking iron sights for a little minute. I got 265 bucks. Let's find the uh, base building guy. Here we go. Hardware supplies. This is what I need. So we got the woodshed base kit. There is 5,000. Plot pole kit is 5,000. And the code lock is 4,000. So that's how much I'm looking at here, guys. It's no joke. That's a lot of money. I don't know how I'm going to get that kind of money together. I guess uh, we just have to start at the start. A few tools and stuff there that I could worry about, but I'm not really going to bother. Let's just get going. we got a half-decent gun now. It's more than I could have asked for before. I think we'll head back up to the base. Just check out the stash and everything, make sure it's all okay. Even though it hasn't been that long, but I just want to check. And, uh... Well, maybe not. Maybe I don't need to go too far here. I could go to the power plant and try to loot that. Let's do that. I haven't been to the power plant in a long time. Alright, I'm within view of the power plant. But I think I'm just going to chill out here until my health comes back and it gets light. So I'll see you guys when the sun comes up. Okay, it looks like the sun's on its way up now. I'm going to get heading in there. It's light enough. Put those glasses on. I don't think they help much, but I did get a bigger bag. Gun cleaning kit's good. And, oh yeah, some round 762 by 5 ones. That's okay. Yeah, he's dead. Ah, oh, and then I got tapped. Right when I finished looting and went to run away, I got shot. Presumably by the guy's teammate. It was time to start over. Alright. Ages to go before we get anywhere. I mean, I didn't really have anything good. All the good loot is stashed, so that's the good news. We didn't lose anything, really. We gotta just keep 
putting these runs in. It's mainly just trying to get a bit of stuff together for uh, base building supplies, you know. Oh, we got a scope. That's actually good because the scopes are expensive. We're on the edge of Asheville. There's not much else to loot unless I go out the other way. Okay, <laughs> back to finding the guns straight away. Guns are no bullets, but I got a backpack this time. Okay, we're arriving at a little town here, Milo. Just gonna loot this up. Feel like uh, I might get some decent stuff from here. Oh wait, is that 30 or 6? Do I need that? Oh hell yeah, we're locked and loaded. Some salty sticks too. Okay. That's pretty huge right there. Ooh, is that an armor? Yeah, plate vest. Huge. Didn't get one of those last time. Okay. A survivor here with loot on him, guys. Oh, I went uncon. I managed to hit him as well and I went uncon to him. Oh, box of nails. Just what the doctor ordered. Just as things were getting tough. Get a new pair of shoes and a box of nails. Did I get them? Oh, I got them. Ooh. And a nice sporter here as well, which I got a big mag for. I think we'll uh, head up this way, loot up Warren Cove. And then I can uh, turn and head towards the base from there. Hammer, that's useful. Ooh, a PPSH mag. Okay. We will run that for sure. Ooh, some good loot in there. I think I could, Ooh, that was a guy going in there then. I'm doing terrible today. <sighs> it's just not my day. I was hitting him as well. Oh, an SKS. Very nice. Shame I don't have any bullets for that. But that's huge. Check this teddy bear, because it they, they have loot in, see? Marijuana ciggies. Sharpening stone there as well. Lee Enfield, I guess I'll take one of those instead of a BK-18. Slight upgrade. Slight more money to make, anyway. Wait, what rounds do they take? 303 British, which I have a box of. Huge. Okay. Locked and loaded, boys. Another little sharpening stone from these yellow ones. I'm going to keep checking these more. It's got good base building spawns like that. I'll take them. Right, we are soon arriving back at the stash, 500 meters away from it now. There is an airdrop, a Paris Island, as you see. So... There were some shots just as I was running past. I've just been sending it straight on through. Right, there it is, the base spot. And moment of truth if my stash is still here or not. Come on, baby, come on. Hey, it's all still there. Alright, that's a good sign, really. Okay, we got a backpack straight away. And what is that? M16A1, very nice. Put this on on burst. That's nice, look at that. Look at that. That looks like COD4 style. Oof. Armored carrier rig as well. Base there, look, just across the road from me. They're quite close to the military, so I think they'll be fine. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here is grab my backpack. I'm actually going to drop off these two guns. And in my backpack, I'm going to drop off all these building supplies that I've got. If, if they can even fit, which I doubt they all will. There we go, something like that. Right, and we want to try and find a little bit of uh, extra loot here now. Maybe think about going to do a cell run once we've got enough stuff. Ooh! Jeez, that's nice. 
We got over here a hospital and some NVC tents. I'll check this out. I haven't actually looted the town yet. I mean, seeing as where I'm living, seeing as it's where I'm going to be living, it's probably worth having a look around. Morphines and tetras. Charcoal tabs there as well. Gas mask filter. Another gas mask filter. Hell, he's just over there somewhere. I'm going to go up the top of this one and try to get a look around. I mean, it definitely sounded really close, but maybe it was just closer than it... Oh. <laughs> there they are. Yeah, it's over that way. They're over that way. I think I should be careful. Well, yeah, I don't really know what's going on, but I don't think I'm going to get any profit from this. I'm going to move on. I don't want to run back through it, though, so I'm going to have to go back the way I came. I think I'm going to head to this, uh, the trader, try and sell a couple of these these two guns here, the SKS and the Sega 9. So, I did just that. I made sure everything in the stash was secure, and I headed once again back to the trader. My plan was to sell some of the stuff that I'd been accumulating, in hopes of building up a few pounds to make my first purchase towards the base. Alright, we made it. Let's sell some stuff, shall we? Okay, we're selling that, we're selling that, and I'm actually just going to sell this as well. I've got another gun waiting for me, so... So I've got like 2,900, but I'm still not doing great. What else have we got in here to sell? We're just going to sell all this stuff too. Could sell my food and drink, but I don't want to do that. See, these are a few of the things that I need. These are what I'm going to be able to sell for a good bit of money. Doesn't tell me how much they actually sell for. But yeah, once i got those, I can bring them in here and try and sell them. Sell... Oof, okay, so my plate carrier I can actually sell for a little bit of money. Can sell this visor for 20. I don't need that. Now, do I think that selling a plate carrier is a good idea? No, but do I need the money? Yes. So I'm going to do it. Oh, my carrier rig sell. Oh, it's painful. It's painful, but it's worth it. That puts us up to 6,500 right now. And yeah, I guess that's all she wrote. I guess I'll head home on that note. Oh, wait. No, I need to spend some money. Of course, this is what I need to do. Is now coming to hardware supplies, and I can buy whatever I want. I guess we'll start with the plot pole. There's also tents. Could do a tent as well. Don't know if you can lock tents on this, though. We are going to get the plot pole kit. Make sure that's in my bag, which it is. And then I've got a little bit of money left over, so I could put that in the... Mm, whatever it's called. I don't know what you actually call it. The maintenance fee. You know what I mean. All right, and let's get running back to the base. All right, let's get this stash sorted out real quick. Good to know everything's still there. Okay, I just want to make sure that I can actually place this thing down. Give me a green zone thing. But I'm guessing this is not the size of my actual, like, base. Should I just deploy it? Should I just go for it? Wait, there's an M14 on the floor in here. It's not chambered though, I don't think that someone's dropped that. How did I miss that? Is that maybe because I just put the plot pole down? That must be. That can't have been there. Okay, yeah, so look, we have 10 days remaining. I don't know if someone can like come in and pick this up. But now the area's mine. Whilst looting up the town later on, I made a good find of some sulfur powder. After seeing it in the trader screen earlier, I knew I could sell it there. And that would probably be enough to get my shed base built. So, I headed towards the trader. Ooh, code lock. Nice, I needed that. Right, well. Seeing as I just got the code lock. And I've also found a shovel and a hammer as well, which are some tools that I really need. I'm going to run this all back up to base now. So it's safe. And then I'll go to the trader with the sulfur powder that I've got. Try and make a little bit of money. And then we should be able to get this shed up. Which will finally give me a little bit of protection. Okay, let's see what money we can get together. First things first, we'll see if we can sell this uh, powder. We can uh, We can! 10,000. The alarm clock as well, 1,500. Great, good bit of money. Keeping that stuff. Oh, that's so huge, getting a good bit of money like that. 
Okay, well, I've easily got enough money. I don't really need to completely sell everything in my bags. Let me just come over here and have a little look real quick. I need a woodshed base kit. But just successful. Let's make sure it's gone in my bags. And then I also may as well get my workbench kit now as well, since I have the money. What's that leave me with? About 4,800. And uh, now one of these toolboxes is useful because I can then pick stuff up, but maybe I need some storage. Looks like most of the storage is lootable only unless I go for one of these big barrels or something. Oh, no, no, because no, there is some stuff here. Way too expensive, though. I'm going to go for one of these toolboxes and one of these ammo boxes. Put my toolbox away. Thank you very much. All right, all of our stuff is acquired. We have a little bit of money left over, 1,000. Buy a canteen and I'll buy a little bit of food as well. Oh, I don't have enough money. I'm out, I've used it all. Got some boys farming here in the safe zone. It's interesting. You won't want to be planting your weed and stuff there, though, because, I mean, I uh, could get robbed pretty easily. Alright, let me grab my code lock real quick. Oh, I thought that had been picked through then. I was like, what? How has someone picked through my stuff and left it all? Oh, okay. We're good. Alright, let's shut this door. Make sure that no one's busted in. Right, and then now, we need to try and see if we can get this woodshed up in inside of here. Like that. Hopefully that's okay. Not sticking through that side. Or that side. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Close that over and let's get the code on. Alright, and that's it. And I don't need to set a, a thingy on this. I don't need to set a code. It just does it automatically on this server. Alright, my workbench can go in the corner here, and this will be my first little bit of storage. I've got a bunch of stuff out in the stash that I need to go and get. Go guys, the start of something great. <laughs> the first step, my little woodshed. We've got some cinder blocks and some nails already. Decent amount of tools already as well. And we have a shovel here as well. More tools. Ah, I didn't realise I had these in here as well. These are the good stuff. Okay, handsaw is not what I need though, I need a hacksaw to build with. Yeah, those aren't actually what I need on this server. I forgot about that, but okay. Okay, the base is established. That's the good news. Everything's dropped off. It's not like I've got a lot to show for it, but... Basically, everything's gone into building this. There's a decent checkpoint to get to. Now we have at least a little bit of security. But of course, it's time to expand. I want to get some doors on and do some actual building. But for that, I just need more tools, basically. I'm doing good on nails. I've got three boxes already, and I've even got some cinder blocks now, too. But I need more tools to get the actual building job done. This is the building interface on Aftermath. It's a bit different to normal. As you see, to build walls though, I need hammer, ha crowbar, and hacksaw. So I have crowbars, but no hacksaw. Time to set a cozy base marker. You know that's what we always do around here. There we go. Very cozy. There's my marker. Got a vest finally. Oh, a law! Ooh, got some good loot here today, guys. G36 as well, look. Alright, I've got a few guns to sell. I'm going to get the shotgun as well. I'm going to keep these three guns in base. Alright, just got to the safe zone. I have a few guns to sell. Doesn't look like they sell for a lot of money here, though. I mean, maybe guns aren't the way to go for money this time around. Would have to sell so many of those to actually make a decent amount. Look, 2,800 I got from that. Right, let's bounce. That's going to be our last run selling guns. I basically cleared my base out of guns as well. I only kept a few of the better ones. If I'd bought them, I would have made a bit more money, but it still wouldn't be that much, really. So I think I'm going to have to think outside the box a little bit. Anyway, though, I want to get back to base and drop off my stuff and then uh, head out around the town and loot up. Since it's early, it'll probably be full of loot. 
There's been loot everywhere else I've been so far, so I think where the server's quiet, should be a decent chance to maybe grab a few goodies. And hopefully I can get more sulfur or uh, charcoal, since they were 10,000 each. And there was also some more high tier stuff on there that I can sell for a decent amount. I think I'm probably better off just focusing on that sort of stuff for money. He hit me as well. Okay, well that's all my bullets. That's good. We have two bullets remaining. <laughs> oh, a box of nails right outside the base. That's pretty huge. Right, okay, so this puts us up to four boxes of nails. That's actually not bad. Racked up some nails pretty quick. There we go. We're going to have to wait for the restart here, but I need to get some food and some drink because I don't have any in the base and I'm starting to starve. So we've got five minutes until the restart. Let's head down into town real quick. I don't know if you get loot on top of these. Should we just check real quick, see if there's anything? There's a shovel, which is kind of useful, so I'll take it. Yep. Bucket of mortar. Very nice. It's exactly what I need. I mean, using that is a little bit far off because that's some sort of advanced base building for the more built-up stuff. There we go. A little bit of food there. Canned sardines. But yeah, anyway, the mortar's good. The mortar will come in handy later on down the line. Someone just started lasering shots at me. I'm running. He hit my gun at some point in there as well. He's put that down to badly damaged. Which isn't good. It's going to jam straight away. Alright, well, yeah, that didn't go to plan, really. Doesn't look like I even have a gun cleaning kit right now. Right, I finally fixed my... or cured my illness. But I need to go and get some water. As you can see, I've got no... Nothing to drink in the base. Alright. This is perfect right next to the base. And I think I'll have a little drink and fill it up again. Not bad loot. I did get some sort of gun, but I don't really know what it was. And it is dark now as well. Like, it's the sun's gone. I need to get into base really quick. So the light's just catching that a little bit there. That looks really cool. Base looks sick, I gotta say. Make sure no one's in here. Alright, I'm going to the power plant. Make sure we're all clear up here. One kilometre this way. Anyway, I decided to just come on a run to power plant here because the town I live in is really not providing much of the loot that I need. I need hacksaw, pliers, and some other stuff. So I'm thinking if I head to the power plant, I might be able to get some stuff. The sun's just coming up, That's uh, which is good for us. I'm going to check this over here. Before I go in. Because it's all just industrial stuff I need. I think the whole zone will be... We'll have good loot. Less risky over here too. Pliers. Yeah, straight up. Nice. Okay, I needed pliers. I don't think I actually need them to build. I think it's just the hacksaw I need to build. This is a common base spot. Which uh, isn't taken, interestingly, by the looks of it. Just seen a guy. Okay, I dipped inside here. Going upstairs. I'll let him know I'm here. I think I must have hit him, but I just backed out because we were just, we were just like spraying at each other. It was a 50-50. Okay, I'm not sure what happened to the guy. I mean, he never pushed me. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, busy spot, we're going in. Feeling good. A long coat. That's useful. What is that? It's a car. Is that a oh my god, that's a base. 
I did not realise that was a base. That was massive. I'm doing the pure just run technique right now. Oh, why is there more vehicles down there? Ooh, hello. Charcoal powder. Nice. That's good. See, that's another 10,000. That's what we needed. That's why we came out here. Wait, actually, we still need the tools. That's really why we came out here. I don't know if this is actually going to be the best place for tools, though. Like, I have to come down and have a look for them. I have something to eat quick. Not ideal spot, but I need to. I think I'm back to the base. I'm going to cut through this way. The traders this way. This is probably the ideal way for me to go. Okay, well, regardless of whether I got the tools, it was still a good loot. And I got a bit of food and stuff that I needed as well. Okay, I'm going to start heading back up this way, straight towards the trader. Because I can sell this charcoal powder for 10,000. I don't know how I'm going to find these tools. I guess just keep looting sheds. Find them eventually. Just have bad luck until now, I think. Another pair of pliers. That's good. I think really it's just hacksaw that I need. If I get hacksaws, I'll be good. Okay, well, one charcoal powder from the run isn't bad. It doesn't look good in terms of how many bases there are in the power plant. I don't think that's a smart one to loot all the time. There's going to be people there a lot. Okay. Sellable charcoal powder. 10,000. See you later. I think the tools cabinet is, is going to be good. I needed a tools cabinet for a while. So I'll buy one of those. And there we go. So you can't sell nails, it would seem. I thought you might have been able to sell them. Okay, well, with the run complete, I'm heading back. I did get some pliers, which is another piece of the puzzle, but the hacksaws still eluded me. We're going to have to try something else. At least I got a tool cabinet out of it. That means I can keep everything a little bit more organized. Yes, hacksaw! Boys, we did it! Hacksaw, let's go! Still starving, I'll eat when I get back. I'm really close to base now. I get it? Yeah, I got it. Let's go. It's taken so long to get that hacksaw. I think this means I can finally build now. And see, look, I got the hacksaw in my town after all. Didn't need to go to the power plant. Ooh. And a tank trap kit, which is very useful, guys. And I'll show you why. Because with a tank trap kit, you can get some scrap metal. We need to use the workbench with it. But I think that gets us some scrap metal, which is pretty useful. some shots okay so let me just have a little look real quick yeah see this is very full it's a good job we bought this jeez now let me put this down i could go and fight i can go and have a little fight if i just drop this stuff off real quick i want to see if i can get the scrap metal real quick tank trap here you go item has been crafted and now we have scrap metal, which is actually really good because we can use that to craft stuff. So I need to take all the tools out. Anything that's a tool I can use, I can take. And this will save me some space. Okay, so I just need some logs and some planks now and I can start making doors and stuff. That's all the tools that I needed. But I'm back to needing meds now. Right, I'm gonna go and try and find some meds. I know we've got hospitals and stuff in town. <coughs> there we go, we've got some Tetra, some Codeine. Woodshed here. Looks active there as well, I mean that's just down the road from me. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that one. Looks like we got some neighbours though. We'll have to see if they build up any. They're obviously not online at the moment. Or they're not there at the moment. Oh, some NBC boots. Hey, more Tetra. All the way back here as well. Look at this little base here up on the hill. We had zombies here before though, so I need to be careful. Ooh. RPK-16. With the drum mag. Well, I'm getting pretty far from the base. And I want to get the base built up tonight, so... I guess I'll head back. I won't have enough with just the stuff on me for a code lock, probably. Alright, well, we're safely back. And with a few more 
guns to drop on my gun pile. I did get this RPK-16, which I think is probably pretty decent. Right, I'm going to sell a bunch of these guns. I'm just going to take them because I can. I think this should get me enough for a code lock. Okay, so I'm going to sell these guns. Don't think it's enough for a code lock, though. Damn, yeah, 4,000. It's expensive. Unless I just sell this gun as well and head back with no primary. Just hope for the best. Go on, we'll do it. We'll risk it. Brash is off now. Nothing I can do. There we go. Okay, probably a bad idea, but we got our code lock. Time to make the run back. Hopefully we don't bump into anyone. Alright, made it back in. We store, I can put my code lock in there, that's cool. Okay, I'm just going to take this saw and hatchet is probably here. I can just use the hatchet because you don't use the hatchet to build on this. And I need to find a half decent little pile of logs. I guess I'll get these trees nearby. Okay, so I've got to do one walk and run with the logs. But then apart from that, I'll be fine getting the door up. I just have to get some planks. I need a bigger bag. Oh, here we are. Look at this base. What a location. It's been a pretty hard server to get anything going solo on. I'll be honest. Alright, that's the planks. Oh, the log side of things sorted. I just need to go get some planks. Alright, well, I didn't need many planks. That's 20. I am in a seriously bad way. I'll eat some food when I get back into base. Take some uh, Tetra. But that's it. That's all we need to get the first door down. And with that, I actually have a secure working base with a little bit of room to breathe as well, since it's been very cramped inside the base. Right, let's get this show on the road, shall we? So we need to put the planks in here. Oh, shall I eat some food first? Let me eat my beans. If I go on here and build a wood door, I suppose is probably what I want to build. I don't know how big the small door is, so. And it's the same materials anyway, so one wood door, please. Yeah, wood door kit. There we go. Let's grab our code lock as well. This is the coming together of a lot of effort. I'm guessing green we want inside. <coughs> And here we go, placing the door down. Oh, feels good. It does feel good. Attach the code lock. And there we go. I have a secured base. Oh my goodness. Long time in the making. I can actually walk around in, inside my base now. That was not too easy. I think this gives me a bit of freedom to go, uh, to go chase some more stupid stuff maybe though. I think uh, it's about time I went down to Paris Island and went for a loot run down there. About time I got some high tier guns. Ooh, hello, La, straight away. Here we go, we'll run this La. Very nice. This is why you come to Paris Island. Okay, I'm going to check the radar station too. There's like some uh, exclamation mark thing on the map here. I think those are King of the Hills. Which I don't really feel great about doing, but I'm here now. May as well go take a look. Entered mission area, mission progress 0%. I'll just try and cap it, I don't think there's anyone here. So I see, so if I'm in this capture area, I'm literally like completely exposed. 
basically. It's gonna take ages, okay. I guess I'll just sit here. Okay, let's go. Let's get moving. See if anyone starts shooting at me. Jesus. Open. Ooh. Once. Okay, he's behind me. I mean, I just got out of there. I don't know where he went. He was taking some weird shots at me, and I got all the loot, so... I feel like I can hear some shots cracking. He hit me. Set once I make it to this tree line, I can just run away. Safety and treat my wound. Oh, I got another med kit. I'll just use it. Use it now. All right, we are out of here. I did repeat, have a little look for the guy, but then couldn't see him. I'm not sure where he was camping <laughs> me from, from the tree line there somewhere. But I got all the loot, so I wasn't going to hang around. Let's get this back to base. HK417 is really nice. Well, I didn't get to grab all of the loot. I saw there were a few boxes of ammo that I missed. Hopefully there weren't any keys or anything, I'm sure there might have been, but I just sort of grabbed what I could and ran. Not a terrible result though. Ah, there we go. Feels really good to step inside base, where I know it's safe, and it looks like the sun's just going down as well. That was a very successful run in the end. Shame we didn't get to uh, actually get the kill. A little bit of PvP. But we got an extra LAR for the base. HK417, some really good stuff. I'm actually going to grab this stuff because I'm going to log. Alright, well, I think that's me for the night. Very successful run to Paris Island, but i got to call it there. It's getting late. Or it's very late already. <laughs> good run, though.